Hello guys, I'm Susanna, we are Awesome Backpackers and in this episode we are going to show you the best five beaches on the Oaxacan coast. So let's go! And today we are going to show you this beach that is called Playa Estacahuite. And as you can see, the sea is almost in the restaurant, so uh, we are now on the rocks. There is a beautiful viewpoint up there and it's 11 a.m. in the morning. We came by a bus, by a camioneta or colectivo, whatever you call it. Uh, we took a bus from Zipolete to Puerto Angel and then we just walked down here. It's quite amazing because it's quite cozy here and there are just few local people with the fishes maybe now at this point. It's very quiet here. The water is crystal clear. I'm not sure if you can see it behind me, but there are three segments, three entrances from the beach. Uh, there is one little, then there is a other one in the middle, and this is the biggest. They are located uh, más o menos three restaurants, and also there are little shops that sell water, agua natural, and other refrescos. On the largest one from the three of them, there are also places to hide from the sun. Also, another interesting fact is that there is a sand, but there are little rocks. So if you prefer to stay on the rocks, then a sand is perfect choice for you because you have two different types of beach. So for the swimming part, mm -hmm. uh -uh. and as you can see, like at the end, in the back, there are a lot of rocks in the water. So you can't really go like much deeper because then it gets dangerous because the waves are pretty strong. So in this case, you have to stay really close to the beach. If you get bored on the beach, as I told you, there are quite few restaurants. You can visit this one, which is right on the beach. And they've got like three hamacas, maybe more in the other side as well. So you can have a relaxed time in hamaca, which is the best you can have. We are the kind of backpackers that usually have their own food and their own drinks, but sometimes we like to support the local people here. So we have uh, bought like this cafe in this lovely cup. And also there was a, a girl passing by. So we also bought some cacahuates, peanuts. So yeah, these are the... Gracias. Muchas gracias. There is the other one. We just arrived to uh, Playa Agustinio. We came from Zipolite. We did a morning walk. It took us around 50 minutes. It was around four kilometers. So you can definitely take a morning walk and uh, come up here. Or you can also book your places here because there are quite a few accommodations. Now let's take a look on the beach itself. It seems that there are not uh, such a big waves, even though it's the wave season for surfing now. Despite the fact Playa Agustinio is a bit smaller uh, than Playa Simolita, it's uh, divided into two parts. Uh, this one is pretty long and it's quite uh, sharp, it's quite straight. And this one, it's a little bay, so it's quite cute because you've got the water like, you know, a bit uh, isolated from the other parts. So uh, most probably they are parking some boats from time to time, but now it doesn't seem to be. Yeah, the bay is surrounded by the hotels and accommodations as well as the second part. On all of the beaches that we have visited so far, uh, there were the red flags, which means that you can't swim uh, too much into the water. And uh, the question is like if they are during the whole year or if it's just now, because now it's the end of May and it's the surf season here. If you come in May, May, June, uh, you can uh, assume that it's not possible to swim and it's uh, better for surfers. So what's good about these beaches is that uh, on most of them, in Zipolite or uh, Augustinio in Mazunte, uh, there are surf schools, uh, usually you can find them directly on the beaches or you can also search for the surf school in the cities. But in here on this one, we have got the surf school in the corner 
and behind me you can see people trying to surf. It's pretty funny to watch it from the distance because I have never surfed in my life. But maybe we will uh, use the opportunity and try it right now because in May is the best uh, time to start uh, surfing and learn it properly. People say that on this side of the uh, Mexican uh, coast is the best for the surfers. So enjoy surfing if you are a surfer and if you're not, uh, it's the best time to learn it here if you have more time than just a week. If you travel with a family, with kids, I would definitely recommend this one because uh, yeah, it's the only one that doesn't have the strongest waves uh, ever. So you can actually be relaxed and yeah, enjoy. Welcome to the naked beach, Zipolite Beach, the nudist paradise. I'm sorry that I am dressed up, but I had to because of this video, otherwise I would be naked right now, but yeah. This is Zipolite Beach, an awesome beach for hippie people, for all these kind of communities of people that like to hang out, chill out, you know, be naked, have some beers. Uh, it has got like one and a half kilometer on the beach side and the city, the village, it's quite cozy because there are a lot of locals living, so on the touristic seasons, yes, tourists come of course, but there are local people that build this community and they live here through the year. Actually now, because of COVID and all of this uh, changing in the world, uh, there are a lot of people buying land here, so if you like this place and you want to get yourself a land to start a new life here, don't wait a minute because yeah, it's becoming to be crowded now and the whole beach is surrounded by a lot of hotels, a lot of restaurants and a lot of bars. So I would say that this is one of the most uh, hangout places from the beaches because it has a nice atmosphere in the town as well as on the beach. And yeah, you can do pretty much anything here. Surf, a bit of swimming, even though you can't go too much to the water because we have red flags all the time here. I like it here because you feel very free and it gives you this uh, feeling of uh, being safe actually and uh, yeah, chilled out all the time. This time we are going to show you a completely isolated beach that's called uh, Playa Aragon. As you can see, it's completely yeah, without people. There are no restaurants, no hotels, nada. Uh, there is a, a little bit of black sand on part of the beach, as you can see also. If you want to have some privacy for yourself or for your couple or, you know, your friends, it's a definitely a good choice to go because uh, now we have got just two companions here and otherwise it's uh, completely empty. It's two kilometers from Zipolite Beach, so you can definitely walk up here and take your sandwiches and water for your whole day stay at this lovely beach without no people. Also, there are no signs by the road, so check it on the map before you go. There is plenty of shadow, so if you don't want to stay on the sun the whole day, feel free to find any kind of shadow you want. And also feel free to do any kind of exercises because it's plank beach and it's quite tough. So, you know, it's hard uh, ground and yeah, you can do squats or jumping jacks, whatever you like. So we just entered to Mazunte beach. We are on the right side of the beach and as you can see it's pretty cozy here because there is a little beach over here and then you have to cross the rocks. If there is no water, now it is, so we will have to go around to the other side. Otherwise, here uh, behind me there is a rock that's called Cometa and there is a up beautiful viewpoint. So hopefully we will make it today as well. Anyways, it looks like I will actually swim today, which is amazing because the water seems to be very calm, especially in here because there is a little bay. It's quite touristic, even though we are here on Tuesday, I would say. It's not the weekend. There are a lot of people. It was a lot of people in the town as well. So Masunte seems to be crowded 24-7. Prepare for that. We are going to cross into the over beach on the sand over the ocean. 
It is a super duper cute bay, but I guess it's pretty dangerous to be here because uh, the water will smash you and with the time coming, uh, the water will be more and more up. So in the couple of hours, I'm sure that you can't cross this side of the beach. You have to go around. We made it and welcome to the other side of this beautiful Mazunta beach. Speaking of crowded, this seems to be even more crowded. There are a lot of umbrellas for rent and there is a local girl coming to us. I don't know what she wants, let's see. Hola. No, queremos, gracias. So she was just offering me uh, to rent us an umbrella, obviously. She doesn't know that we travel cheaply and we don't want to pay anything that we don't have to. So let's find some other place. <laughs> In this part of the video we want to make a general overview of all of the beaches that we have visited so far. So let's start with Beach Zipolita. Even though you can't swim here, uh, which is a big minus, uh, it has a great village vibe and the beach itself is full of like nice places to go and to see visit. So yeah, it has a cool atmosphere and definitely if we have to choose to live somewhere, to have accommodation, hotel, hostel, cabana, whatever, it's definitely Zipolite because of the yeah in the environment and the community in general. So yeah, Zipolite is number one for us. Then uh, I would say it would be Mazunte. It's because of the swimming. You can be in the water for how many hours you want. You can swim how many kilometers you want because it's really possible. And also what's good about Mazunte is that you can do pretty much uh, snorkeling there too and scuba diving also because the water is quite calm and yeah, it's uh, very clear there. So it's a big plus for Mazunte too. There is also a negative side to this and it's the full city all the time with a lot of people. It's a lot of touristic uh, shops and also the restaurants. So yeah, I don't think that many people live there through the year. So um, this is something that I don't like too much and I wouldn't book any hotel there because uh, for me uh, what's more important is how I feel there uh, than if I can swim or not. And basically the collective goes like, you know, every 30 minutes and if you want to swim, you can uh, go there like any time you want. Another beach that we would score with a three star it's uh, Agustinio because uh, it's something between Zipolita and Mazunte, it's a mixture of both because you can swim there but there are also waves so you can play around. Uh, it has got uh, nice places around. We have found a brilliant place to have breakfast. It's called La Mora Posada and really like it was the most delicious. They have waffles, you know, pancakes and toast with uh, peanut butters and stuff. But yeah, it was really nice so I'm putting it right here so you can visit it. And because there is a little bay it's also very cozy so yeah we liked it pretty much. And uh, for the stay I would say yeah why not, why not to book a hotel and stay right there because yeah you can do pretty much everything. It's just that maybe the night uh, city life it's not there too much because it's a little town with few houses. Playa Aragon, if you want to have a privacy, you want to have a day trip and you want to spend some nice time with your friends and take some sandwiches or even beers with you, you have a car or so, uh, yeah, it's possible. So if you look for something like this and uh, you want to enjoy a privacy, uh, yeah, this beach is for you. And the last beach, it's uh, Playa Estacahuite. It's difficult there to swim, to hang out, to even find places to live. So. This beach is nice to visit, nice to see, of course, but nothing that I would pay, you know, unnecessary money to stay there. Most of the people stay on Zipolite or Mazunte beach. I guess it depends on the purpose of your stay. If you travel for a short vacation and what you want to enjoy is a swim and just, you know, lie on the beach, then I would definitely recommend you Mazunte. But if you travel somewhere for a longer time and you are maybe a digital nomad or you just want to hang out and meet new people, I would definitely choose Zipolite. So you must you know, choose before you go to see what beach exactly suits you and what needs you have for yourself, for your travels and for your holidays in general. So I hope it helped you 
and thank you for watching uh, this video i hope that you liked it and you take trips with us to several beaches or you use this video to choose where to book your accommodation for your beach holidays so yeah either way you can support us on patreon.com where we will post some drone shots and time lapses that we have made from sunrises and sunsets if you have some money and you want to uh, support us don't hesitate thank you and have a lovely day